S is being secret on us. What's he doing? Hmm. <laughs> He was just in the cafe eating lunch. The fat controller came to him. There's no work for you here, but you may find something to do. I'll give my orders to the other engines. Percy remembered something he was doing. Before he was coming here, he had the gorge train to take, like the gravel. But he was to take Enter Chuck's home first. I'll go to Sogor. It's something a grown-up engine can do, he told himself. His driver came out of the cafe and finished with his lunch. And he whispered his holiday work on Salvador. The driver thought it fun because he was to find twilight a farmland gift. We'd better move quietly out of the yard, he whispered. the signal box to ask the signalman to switch him to Sodor Island. The signalman did. Then he set off. Tours first home on his long journey. Little did he know that he was to have trouble come to him. I hope my secret holiday won't get found out. All my friends would like to let me tell them how I went on, he thought. Hmm. He arrived at his first home. He was to find the trucks. Best use the points, Percy, said the driver. So door has changed a bit, and I think while we're here, we can find some gravel. Right, sir, said Percy. He began to explore his old home. He was very pleased to see everything again. He followed the tracks and searched the sidings. He came to the station and found the station master waiting for him. Hello, Percy. Welcome back to Sodor. Hello, sir. I'm having a holiday. I'm looking for some trucks that you were wanting to get here. There's somewhere in the other stations. I heard a phone call from your driver saying 
you're on some work job here. I'm to look for the present for twilight. Don't tell her. Well, watch out for Rainbow, Dash. She's out looking for you. Uh, uh -oh. I don't want her to find me. I'd better get the trucks here, and then I'd better get a truck of gravel. Off he went, searching the stations. I know. I'll try and launch her through the tunnels. He did. He whistled as he vanished on the other side of the tunnels. He came out on the other side, in the other countries, safe and sound for now. I hope Rainbow just doesn't find me. He came to one of the stations. As soon as he did, he found more sightings. The trucks were shunted somewhere in the spots. He was just about to go in one of them. When he stopped, he needed to check if Rainbow Dash was about. He whistled just once. <whistles> the echo of his whistle came and faded. Oh dear. I hope Rainbow Dash doesn't hear me quickly. He took out the trucks, the empty ones. I better get the ones to the station. To the first one, huh? He went for the first tunnel and steamed to the station where the station master was waiting. Well done. You better find the gravel and take it home to Australia. It's for the baby ponies. Right away. He ran off again, and this time he went off for other tunnels. He came to another yard and searched the sidings. Suddenly he saw Rainbow Dash coming again. Uh oh, time's running out, thought the driver. Well, she's not lucky here. I know every hiding place on the island of Sodor. Sony was hiding in the north side of Sodor and found a pile of gravel. Just the thing for Apple Bloom and her friends. Where's Percy? He's got to be around here somewhere. Percy quickly steamed off, finding the tunnel to get off his island home. We might have to look at the seaside driver. We haven't seen it for a long time. Okay, I'll hang on. That's next to the station. We're passing. I better find a coach. It's for the ponies to ride on. Maybe the water thoughts can help me. He stopped beside the water. You'll see. He comes to the water and would listen to the wind to tell him what he can think of. Find a second gift like Cassandra's box. That's what it would say. There's a bookshop. I can find, thought Percy. He steamed a bit quickly to the next station. At last, he came to the next station and began looking for the coach. Here it is, and there's the bookshop. 
As the driver got out of Chris Archer's box, he connected the coach with the gravel truck and set off for home. At last, he came back to Tasmania and he set the coach in sloping Maine home at last. Then he waited for Rainbow Dash or came in. What were you up to? she asked. Visiting so dog in protest. And I'd got two things it is the first one. It's the Yorkshire and the second's a surprise. Twilight came out of the cottage. What's this person? It's some books of Chris Archer's from really useful engine to Thomas and his friends. Oh, it's kind of your sweetie. I kind of wondered why you were taking long to visit us. I have your very own coat, it's called Sewed or Pounded Coat. For camping and riding in, I was trying to see what you were doing, but you refused to let me. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you, but I can't spoil the secret. The fat controller came up. There you are, Percy. I thought I could catch you. What were you doing sneaking off Tasmania? I was visiting Sodor, sir. I wanted to give my pony friend some gravel and a coach, along with Cassandra's box. Hmm. I did see why you were on Sodor there. Rainbow Dust told me you were trying to do a plot without telling her. Sorry. And I think you should know that if you're planning a holiday to some other island, you should tell me first. I told Thomas and my driver phoned the station master on Sodor to let them know I'm coming, or that's not telling me. I had to not tell you because I didn't want to spoil the surprise. Well, now you've finished your holiday and you'll half explain to me. I forgive you on what you were doing. What were you doing with the gravel? It's for the path in the baby pony's common. It's to be part of a house landscape. What was sort of like? Well, it was great time, and while I was on it, I found a shed bed for you to visit me in the dog shed. Oh, that's kind of you. I don't like some bed in the shed.